A warm winter coat can be a lifesaver in this country, especially if your job involves being outdoors in freezing conditions. But should federal employees tasked with wildlife conservation wear fur? As Jamie Dahl reports, New Parks Canada parkas are raising eyebrows in Alberta. In wintertime, the Rockies are breathtaking, but they're also bitterly cold. And Parks Canada has to make sure staff are fully equipped with the proper gear to withstand the elements while on the job. But the uniform for frigid weather is causing a heated debate, specifically the coyote fur trimming the hood. I don't think that's acceptable, having fur on your jacket for a Parks Canada employee. Especially if it's from an animal that you don't eat. Modern times, make it faux fur. We live in a time where this is probably not necessary. Parks Canada says the winter parkas are issued only to those working in the coldest conditions like Banff National Park. In a statement to Global News, it says natural fur is more resistant to moisture and ice buildup and as such provides greater retention of heat and protection from the elements. PETA thinks otherwise. There is no excuse to be spending government money to buy real fur. Uh, we have options that are high tech, that are better for the environment, and that will keep people warm and dry in the winter. Uh, so there's just no excuse to be supporting an industry that the majority of people find cruel and toxic and totally unacceptable. It's a polarizing topic. A Canada Goose clothing store recently opened its doors in Banff and was hit by graffiti. Critics of the company say coyotes and geese suffer to provide the fur and feathers used in some of its products. Others say faux fur has its own problems. Having like someone that's biodegradable is way better than having something that's artificial. And I feel like that's probably good for Parks Canada to do it that way. The Canadian fur industry insists they follow strict guidelines. In this country, the fur trade is extremely well regulated. Uh, fur is produced responsibly and sustainably. Uh, wild fur trapping is managed, is controlled, regulated by our provinces and territories. Uh, trappers take training courses before they can have their trapping permits. There's regulated trapping seasons. And then there are those who are against fur and, well, don't even realize they're wearing it. What do you think? I think it should be fake fur. And is yours real that you're wearing? I don't think so. I mean, I presume it's fake fur for what I spend on it, like $20, I can't imagine. <laughs> it says rabbit fur on All right, it. All right, then, rabbits, I'm sorry. A sign of the politics and pervasiveness of fur in this country. Jamie Dahl, Global News. Banff, Alberta.